Hi, welcome to Nareesh Shetty. This is Kishore, and today we are going to continue static data members. Okay, in C plus plus we are having static members, and we are going to use two types of static members. One is what static data members. Another one is static member functions. Now, in this session, I am going to cover what is a static data member and when it is required. Okay. Next, like the general variables, like the general data members. Already we know that in C language also we are having static variables. Okay, in C language already we have used the static variables. Similar to that, uh, in C plus plus classes also we can declare static data members. Okay, when it is a normal variable, what it is called static variable. But when it is declared inside a class, what it is called static data member. Now, how the static data member is declared and where it is stored. Here, the point is a class data member can also declare as a static. Okay, here the point is one class data member can be declared as static, and it is initialized with zero automatically. Okay, generally we know that. Whenever a variable is not initialized, the default value becomes garbage when it is local variable. But when a static variable is declared, automatically it is initialized with zero. And another important point is another important point is suppose we are having a class and we are having a data member called int a in that class. Suppose from that class we have defined Three objects. Now, what happens? All the objects are having their local variables a. Okay. For example, just watch this. Suppose class sample or test, what it may be, and here one data member int a. Okay, fine. Now the class is completed. For example, now from this class, I am going to define three objects. Test. T1, T2, T3. Now, what happens? Here, three objects are defined. T1 object, as usual. T2 object. T3 object. Okay. Now, we are having T3 objects. And here, the major point is, all these objects are having local variable called a. That means here one a is there. Here one a is there. Here one a is there. Now with this, what happens? Suppose here I have entered ten. It doesn't reflect on this one. Suppose here I have entered twenty. It doesn't affect on this one or this one. That means they are having their own memory locations because of they have created three times in three memory locations. But when it is static, when it is static, it will become Class member, it will become class member, not the object member. But objects are what instance of the classes. That's why they are able to access this class member directly by using dot operator. That's why here one important point is whenever it is a normal data member, okay, each object contains one instance of that uh, data member. When it is static data member, what happens? It will become Class member, not the object member. That means now three copies are not created. Here three copies are not created. Only one copy is created, and it is resided inside the class. That means uh, static data member is not nothing but a class member, not the object member. But it is accessed by the objects of that class. And here another interesting thing is static data members are also accessed with the class name directly actually we are having a rule in c++ what it is every data member should be accessed every data member should have to accessed with the member functions of that class using a object name using object name but when it is static data member we can access the static data member directly to the class name by using this syntax test colon colon a equal to for example 100 now watch this test is what here class name 
Now, this class is directly acting A and now A value becomes 100 and as usual suppose there is a get function inside this class. Now, we can use T 1 dot get and it is also accessing which one the same A that means, static data members are accessed by both the classes and as well as objects and another major concept is what static data members initialized with the 0 automatically and here one more point we have to discuss. Generally in data members we are having only one part declaration part, but static data member is having two parts one is declared another one is defined. Here the rule is static data member should be declared inside the class static data member should be declared inside the class using static keyword and it should be defined outside the class using this syntax. First data type int later class name test next colon colon member a equal to some value, but value is not mandatory because of uh, when value is not passed automatically it is initialized with a 0 that is why int test colon colon a equal to value. Now, for example, equal to 10 now it is initialized with the 10. Suppose, if you are not going to initialize with the 10 automatically this member becomes a 0. Now, this part is called declared and this one is called defined okay? and next another important thing is stat data members static data members are created in data segment which is public area. Okay. Static data members are created in data segment which is public area that is why any object can access this one okay. means all the objects can share this the same data that is why static data members are useful whenever you are going to share one data member through all the objects okay. whenever you want to share one data member through all the objects of that class then declare the data member using a static keyword. Now, I will show you how to access a static data member. Okay. Here, how to access static data member directly with the class name. First of all, I am going to show you class test. Here, in public area static INTA, next uh, one function also there void get. Inside get function, I am going to write like this a equal to 10. Okay. Next, C out A equal to A and L. Here watch it static INT A is declared as a static data member and to access this data member I have written a function called get inside get function A value becomes 10 C out A equal to A like this. Okay. Uh, now, the point is okay. now the point is here it is what static data member declaration okay static data member declaration finished later here we have to pass some value for this you know okay and now a value equal to 10 value also passed later watch this and here already we have discussed that every static data member is having two parts one is declared part another one is what defined part one is declared another one is defined that is why declaration complete now defined means we have to declare define the value that is why first what written data type int next class name class name is what test colon colon and data member name is what a okay now what happens here test colon colon a is going to okay defined with initial value 0 with initial value 0 okay fine later now main okay and here directly i am going to use test colon colon a equal to 100 watch it generally data member should be called with a member function but a is a what static data member that's why we can access the a directly through the class name okay and next here i want to do one more thing okay what it is means 
here a value is what 10 I am going to remove this and here I have is an 10 int test colon colon a equal to 10 and now here I want to put this value okay and means uh, I want to print this value. So, here watch it what I am doing here directly test colon colon okay here a value becomes what 100 now? now here there is another function called get I want to access this a value through the get function that is why first uh, I am going to declare a object like this test t okay otherwise you can print this value by using of what c out suppose print this value using c out c out okay a equal to test colon colon a end l that is it now what happens this a value becomes okay 100 and it is going to print here and here we have accessed the a value directly through the class name next here I want to access the a value through the get function that is why first object test t and t dot get and get is going to do what it is going to print the a value already a value becomes 10 now it is going to print 10 okay now get ch program close and here we are going to access the a value through the class name directly and here we are going to access the a value through the member function with the object name that is why static members static data members can be accessed with the class name otherwise directly object name also it is how to access a static data member through the class and a object okay thank you